Hello once more. It's a fine day here. If you hear some noise in the background of kids yelling and, and whatever, they, uh, they have a trampoline next door and they have a sprinkler running underneath it. So the children are jumping up and down and having a, a blast out there, trying to stay cool. That's good. First album here is Cato Bell. I know very little about this group except for the fact that Maggie Riley was the vocalist, British uh, singer. Um, Paul Buckmaster, I see, does a lot of the arrangements, and he did a lot of the arrangements for Elton John. This is another obscure album by someone named uh, Glenda Griffith, and it's produced by Don Henley of the Eagles, which is what intrigued me about this. The Hot Rodders Battle, Rock and Roll. I thought, uh, at first I thought it might be a surf album, but I'm not quite so sure. It's by Ruby Short. Ruby Short and his dragsters, so Ruby's a guy. The Jeff Beck album I didn't have. It's just called, uh, There and Back. 1980. This is a fellow that's a lot, looks a lot like Little Richard. It's called Escarita on Capitol Records. This is a reissue. It's mono. But apparently he is a lot like Little Richard. This is the late 1950s. Paul McCartney, one of his later solo albums from the late 80s. It's called The uh, Pipes of Peace. Here's a copy of Jethro Tull Benefit, still in the shrink. Here's a Tom Scott album. Tom Scott, the kind of jazz sax player, pop jazz, Los Angeles. Played a lot of uh, studio recordings and things too. Here's a Tom Rush album. It's on Columbia. Probably from 1971. This is one of those design records, budget records. It's called um, Disco Tech. A lot of dancing songs on here with the different dances like the mashed potato, the holly gully, the dog and the monkey. The early Jackson Brown albums are really, really good, and this is uh, a copy of. Jackson Brown, The Pretender album, but this is a Mobile Fidelity uh, Master Sound, original Master Sound recording. This is a British import, British kind of prog band. Stackridge. I have another one of their albums too, and it's quite good. This is 1972. It's called The Man with the Bowler Hat. I don't think this was ever released in North America. Here's an original copy of, stereo copy of the Supremes, Where'd Our Love Go? It would be from 19, I think, 64. Here's an album, uh, it's a folk guitar album. It's almost an instructional. It says there's a tab song, songbook available for this album. Uh, John Renborn and Stefan Grossman. John Renborn is in Pentangle, British folk band. A folk pop rock band. Now, copy of Led Zeppelin III. I found another uh, original copy of Led Zeppelin III. But not only is this original, but it's also an original pressing. In Canada, the original pressing of the early, I think the first three Led Zeppelin albums are on this red colored uh, label whereas in the states they had something different but this is an original pressing um, I haven't read the uh, the dead wax to see uh, see if it's an original original or just a very early pressing but it's you don't find these very often anymore and also Tommy this is an original pressing of Tommy um, I would say this is from 1969 or 1970. Um, 
very hard to find these. It's on Decca Records as opposed to Track Records or MCA or whatever that came later. I know this is an original one because I bought it. I bought this album when it was, I think, a month after it was released, back in 1969. And it has the plastic bags, which is dead original. The original copies came in the plastic bags. It's not a mark on these. I don't know if it was played. The only wear is edge wear on the sleeve itself. And the book. I always thought the cover on this album was so cool. There's the poster inside too. Original poster book. Thank you for watching everyone.